When you develop a machine learning model for prediction, you often do a step called hyperparameter tuning. For example, if we um, estimate a regression tree, the size of the resulting tree depends on a complexity parameter called CP. Let me illustrate this in R. In your R to the problem set, which I have shown here, you will develop a prediction model to predict a prices of houses you make a house price prediction model and we start basically by estimating a tree and um, you see if we use this r function r part you will learn this in detail in the r to the problem set and here we have a control parameter cp that determines the complexity of the tree currently i have set it to 0.1 and i can plot the resulting tree and we see we have a very small tree it's only basically one split we do if I reduce the complexity parameter, so it's actually a penalty if I reduce it, then the estimated tree becomes more complex. So I set it to 0.01, and if we plot it now, we get an even larger tree. And I can even further reduce it, um, and the tree that I would plot now here, it doesn't really fit nicely in the plot anymore. But it's a very large tree now. And it's not clear which tree is best for out of sample prediction, whether a smaller tree, a very large tree, or some tree in between. Um, if the tree is too large, we have the problem of overfitting. If it's too small, the tree is not flexible enough. So in a sense, um, we would like to find an optimal complexity parameter. That's the so-called hyperparameter. And we want to find one that uh, basically it's a model that has a very good out-of-sample prediction accuracy. And this whole process of finding good hyperparameters is called hyperparameter tuning. Sometimes the CP is also called a tuning parameter, which may be an even more intuitive name for it. And not only regression tree have such parameters, also random forests have several hyperparameters, like also the complexity of each tree or the chair of explanatory variables that is considered uh, at each split. Uh, we call that there's just a random subset of variables you consider for each split. Um, so there are a lot of hyperparameters and other machine learning models like lasso regression, neural networks also have uh, one or a lot of hyperparameters. So most packages set some default values for the hyperparameters and um, for some methods it really doesn't so matter too much to change it. For example, typically with random forests, the default hyperparameters are pretty good. But for other methods, for example, for single trees, it's very important that you search yourself for good values of these hyperparameters. So for these methods, hyperparameter tuning can really improve substantially the prediction accuracy of your model.